So here's the difference between a jump cut and a teleportation. Here's a jump cut. Oh, it sounds different than a teleportation. Here's a teleportation. Oh, another clone dead. Don't teleport, kids. Yeah, I invented a teleportation device, but I'll never use it. I will explain why, but first let's get thinky about teleportation. Will it ever be possible? If so, how will we do it? I found this article on HowStuffWorks.com using my magic Google skills. Yeah, I can Google. So. In the article, they talk about in 1993, a physicist named Charles Bennett and a bunch of IBM or IBM researchers confirmed that quantum teleportation is possible, but only if the original thing being teleported is destroyed. Because the act of scanning the original changes it so that the only thing resembling the original is the copy. Ryan, I'm trying to do a video. Could you just teleport to the kitchen, please? Go back in there and teleport to the kitchen. Fine. All right, initializing. Oh, he's dead. Luckily, I've made lots of Ryan clones. The original died a long time ago. By the way, Ryan's a colleague of mine who works on another show that I do called The Good Stuff. Well, he was a colleague of mine. Now, realizing quantum physics is a little out of my depth, flashback, I called up star of Quantum Leap, Scott Bakula, for some more information. But then I remembered he was an actor and not a quantum physicist. Also, I didn't have his number. So I took a nap instead and fell out of my chair. Then I woke up realizing I was in a different place than when I fell asleep and wondered, is this what teleportation is like? Holy crap. So say teleportation was a reality. You take a person, you break down all their little bits, and then you make a copy of them somewhere else. Is that like? falling asleep and waking up somewhere else? No, maybe, I don't know. How about this example? You need to make a boysenberry salad, but you find that you are out of boysenberries. So you go to the garage to your teleportation device, destroy yourself and recreate it in the boysenberry section of the local Target down the street. You probably could have drove, it's not that far. Now would this be like falling asleep and waking up right in front of the boysenberries or would you actually be dead in the original form and this would be a new thing that just, it looks like you and behaves like you and banjo faces like you. Yeah, and this person's walking around saying, yeah, I was just at home because I remember being at home, but now I'm here. But it's not his memories, it's your memories. He's basically a clone. I make clones all the time, see? Hello. Thank you, clone. Get to the alligator pit. Okay. You hear that crunching? That's not my leg being crunched. No, it's actually my arm. I'm sorry, I mean my arm. Now it's my leg. Now, now my leg? But is the act of scanning yourself and destroying it and recreating it somewhere else actually moving yourself? I'm not sure. I don't even know what the self is. I'm not even really sure what boysenberries are, to be honest. Okay, so say teleportation does become commonplace. Your friends are teleporting all over to the arcade, to the roller rink, to the, the, ha the hacky sackery. I don't know what kids do. Your grandma's teleporting to Tahiti every day. People teleporting to work. Here's the thing there would be no way of knowing if these people are actually maintaining their selves. They could be killing and recreating themselves constantly, but the new copy wouldn't even know it. They'd have the same memories and people looking at them wouldn't know it because they'd have the same behavior. The world would likely go on functioning the same way with quicker transportation. So if everyone's like, oh dude, you gotta teleport, man. First I was there, then I was there. Oh wow, I would never do it. There's no way you could make me. Well, you could drug me or put a gun to my head or push me real hard into the teleporter, but oh, there's lots of ways you can make me, but I wouldn't want to. I know 100% if a, if a bullet goes through my brain, I'm dead. I don't know 100% if a teleporter kills me. I see, I see. So people have survived bullets to the brain. So, huh, maybe, maybe I wouldn't do it then. That's a question for another video that I'll never make. Thank you, Ryan clone. The point is I like me. I like living. I like making sure that it is me who is the one doing the living. So just put your teleporter away. Thank you very much, kind sir or madam. I'm gonna stick with my jump cuts. Oh crap, that was teleportation. I might not be me. Weezy. Get this, beard lovers. I've already made another video. How's that possible? Teleportation. No. So from now on, you'll be able to watch my videos days before they go up on YouTube if you go over to vessel.com slash wheezywaiter. You can click on the next video link right now or in the doobly-doo to see the first one right now. I said right now twice. You don't have to just watch me. There's lots of other YouTubers over there too, but really, why would you want to watch them? If you want to do this, you should probably sign up today because if you sign up before the end of today, you get a free year. If you saw this video too late, you can still sign up for a free month. Or you could just wait. That video will come up on YouTube on Saturday. And now I'm gonna kill myself and recreate myself on that couch and take a nap. This is the end of the road. Oh, no, it's not. It's the end of the video though.